So let's do another build video for the weekend and thank you thank you very much for the support on uh, buy me a coffee that's awesome. So to, as uh, today we should have this what you see on the screen and we wanted to assemble the X carrier. So this is what what we want to print and we want to assemble and we want to achieve this without the fans and so on the fans and so on are later stage so let's go to Cura first let me just open Cura and uh, while Cura is opening I'm gonna talk about this X carrier a little bit so there's uh, quite a few parts and if we explode it it should look something like let me see like this that's what we have so yeah so this, these are these are the parts and let us just have a look how those print so let's open first the X carrier and let's just flip that on its head like this and slice it with support everywhere and also a brim to keep the support in place so in layer view, it should look like this. Lots of support, but it's easy to get away, so that's fine, no problem. And we need the fork. We have done the fork before, it's the same fork, but let me just show you. Just flip it 90 degrees and print it like this. Like this. Um, you don't need support inside. Actually, this print without support, but if you have support on, just do, do touching build plate so you don't get to pick out inside. You don't need that. So this is what you have. You can use a brim just because it's uh, quite tiny. Uh, and we need the hot end clamp and the thumb screw. So let's do those. And when the flipping the hot end clamp 90 degrees like this, we need to turn the thumb screw 180 like this, put it on its back. And uh, you also want to, uh, yeah, support, just a little bit support here uh, under, you know, in the middle of, yeah, everything. And then we have two more parts, and it's the belt locks. So the belt lock lower and the belt lock upper. And those fall into place like they print. So you don't have to move them around. And you need two of each. So in layer rear, it should look like this. No support. And if you want to duplicate, you can just go right click and multiply. So you have all the parts there. That's what you need to print. So let's do some assembly. And first of all, let's just slide in the fork. So we have done the fork before. So let's just slide that inside. And then the, you can you can secure it with the thumb screw like this and then these guys these guys are quite important so you need to there are two of them two of that one one on this side and one on the other side you want to make sure that you get all the support out so they fit nicely in place so fit those two M3 nuts, 
Those are M3s inside like this. Nice and tight. And then let's do the wheels and the shims. Of course, again, the shims are important. So both wheels and four shims. So the shims are here. Those are M5 by M by eight millimeter outside and uh, one millimeter thick. And then the nuts and bolts. Nuts and bolts and washers for the wheels, like this. Those are M5s as well, and there are lock nuts, important. And uh, let's do the hot end clamp. So let's slide that in place, like this, and do the bolt, like this, with the nut and the washer like this and then inside here we have an M4 nut which I forgot to take out so let's just take that outside so you need to clean up this so you can fit this nut inside here that's very important and it should stay in place when you get it inside so just make sure that you can slide you can uh, get a grip with this bolt like that. So that's important as well. And then let's slide in the upper belt locks. Two of the same, like this. Just slide it from the underside and up. It might be a little bit tight, but that's fine. And then the lower belt locks, like this. And then the long M3. Like this, get the grip on the M3 nuts, like that. And you can do the four M3s for extra support, like this. And then you have assembled the whole X carrier. So if you go to the X axis, this is what we have now. You need to slide out one of these guys. I'm going to talk about how you slide that one in just in a minute because I didn't do that on the last video. So let's do first the X carrier. So the X carrier needs to be slided in. It's supposed to be tight and it's supposed to just loose, uh, just to make sure that the thumb screw is loose so the fork can move up and down a little bit and then you want to slide Let's do it slowly. Let's do it slowly like this. So you want to slide it in onto the V slide slot like this. And then you can tighten the thumb screw a little bit again. So and it should run fine along along the the V slot. Yes, this video is going to be a little bit longer. <coughs> so just slide that in place. And then, as I didn't tell you before, uh, attaching these brackets, it's quite also important that you slide it in place. In the same way, just like this, you want to slide it in here. So the M5s are supposed to go inside, you know, you want, to, you want to make sure that the M5s are a little bit not too tight like this. Then you can tighten them, them afterwards. Just do it like this. And then slide it inside like this, and then just move it in place.
So in this place, it's supposed to look something like this when you have it in the right place. Uh, we can have a look at how far outside the 480 we are. So we're about yeah, four millimeter uh, outside the x axis should be fine. Yeah, and then you can tighten these guys again. Not too hard, but just so that the M5s get a grip inside here and pull the bracket in place. I don't know if that was a good explanation, but you will figure it out when you have the parts in, in your hand. You will understand what I'm talking about. So that's what you do. So we printed the X uh, carriers, the X carrier and the parts, and we assembled the X carrier and we assembled the X axis. And now you can put the X axis back into the Y carriers, and then you can uh, play around <laughs> with the printer. I'm sorry, this was not a very good video, but I'm not gonna shoot it once again. Um, this is as, as good as, as it gets right now. So I hope it, you understand. If there are any questions, leave me a comment and I will try to explain it in a better way. I'm sorry. Okay, enjoy. Have a good one.